I don't make as much time for the music side of my life as I should. I have a very big, heavily connected music family all around me. So tonight, I thought I'd take some time to go see my boy Bobby. Let me explain this a little bit. He was the drummer, I was the DJ. We used to do live DJ and drum shows at the clubs together. Ah, just madness. I miss this guy. Oh, you like it? So good. Oh, man. Love it. Cutie. It looks good, man. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I got a question for everybody. Would you sleep right here? Right in the downtown core amongst all of these big buildings, all these fancy apartments. Would you sleep here? Like right there? Right where my van is sitting there. Would you sleep right there? That's a pretty loud water feature. Home right there is so perfect, it's ridiculous. Because I can make all the noise that I want, and it doesn't matter what I do in the van, watch movies, anything, that is gonna drain out everything. It is so loud out here, it's ridiculous. So, would you be worried about what any of these people, you think anybody's staring at me? You think anybody around here is like, <gasps> What's this guy doing in the dirty van down here? Not a damn person around here notices me or notices anybody walking around because they're all way too busy in their day to care about that. You guys can't see, but I put a little blocking thing here, like, uh, I put <laughs> the same coverings I put on my side windows. I have two extra ones of these things that I put across the entrance in the front so Cruz doesn't go in the front seat when we are in situations like this, park downtown, because the last thing I want is to have Cruz make his way into the front seat. Oh my gosh, I just hacked the secret to van life. <laughs> oh, what I'm about to tell you guys is gonna blow your mind. Hold on, I have to go dispose of something here. It's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> First off, look where we are. A big, huge yacht right there. We're right downtown in the city. Many people are out here for the morning runs. You know, here I am, dirty van dweller, on the side of the road, pooping in a bag. Okay. <laughs> None of these people, nor did any condo in my life in my past, ever have the luxury that I just had in my van this morning. You see, I have a luggable loo. If you don't know what that is, that's pretty much just a plastic pail with a lid on it, but it's also got a toilet seat on the top, so you put your bag in it and take a shit in it. 
Well, well, nobody that lives around here did what I did this morning and had it be so damn comfortable. I probably had the most comfortable poop in this entire city this morning. So I leave my pail on the passenger side floor. And because of my passenger side floor, um, that's where the heater is. So when you're running the heater of the van, it's heating that whole bottom section. And it's also heating that pail. So I sat down to take a poop in my van today. <laughs> Glad he just walked by and wasn't over here two seconds ago. When I pooped in my van today, I sat on a heated toilet seat. Boom, luxuries of van life. Condo life, you never gave me that. turning out to be a damn good morning so far. Got myself a coffee and a sesame seed bagel. A little cruisy bear sitting there so sweetly waiting for me. I don't think I've taken you guys on an actual legitimate drive through downtown Vancouver. So let's do that this morning. Vancouver holds a very big piece of my music past and my personal music history. When I was a young kid, I just dreamed about being a DJ downtown Vancouver. So when I was young, I just worked my butt off and grinded every single day just to become the best DJ that I could be. One thing I did learn very young in my DJ career was to turn that microphone on and talk to my audience. And as you can tell, that part of my past very much has folded into my future here today. As I'm sitting here on a microphone talking to you guys or I'm in front of the camera creating videos for you, the whole world that I've been living up to this point has gotten me right here where I stand today. I'll never forget my music past. My music will always be a part of my life and a part of my future. I'll never stop DJing. I'll always continue to make DJ mixes and be a part of Vancouver and Canada's dance music scene. That's who I am. Damn it, I'm DJ Chrome. I'm Vancouver's electro monster. I'm the one that throws electro beats inside of that top 40 music and just infuse the madness on the dance floor. That's who I am. And that will never change. But taking a look at this, my whole DJ career has set me up for life today. Waiting for the mailbox company to open? Oh, the lights are on in there, buddy. Hey, you think there's a package in there for you? You think it's for me? The sign still says closed. They're not open yet, buddy. But we did get a notification saying that there's a package there. Are you excited? Are you pumped up? What do you think it is? What? What is going on? <laughs> there was boxes of things that were like packaged huge and thick with words fragile on it. And turns out they were some of the CDs that I ordered. Um, Chris Shepard, some more Chris Shepard stuff. So I've been trying to pick up the entire collection of this guy, um, being that uh, he's my, my biggest DJ inspiration. I thought it might be kind of cool to own every one of his mix CDs. Uh, pretty dope. Chris Shepard, kick ass. All right, Tim, I also got your book, Tim. Thank you. Ooh, Cruzy, you got toys, buddy. Oh, Cruzy got some toys. Uh, Cynthia T, thank you very much for the toys for Cruz. I might not. How many of your dogs just freaked out right now? <laughs> More stuff for Cruzy Bear. Cynthia, a note to Cruz. Dear Cruz, enjoy your gifts. Hugs from Cynthia in Washington State. <laughs> this is Buddy. 
Oh, look at this guy. Hey. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, that's the one. What's going on back there, Cruz? Does that ball light up? Look at this thing. <laughs> Stepping on toys. Cruzy, look at this thing. Look at it. <laughs> Check out that ball. Hey, your Uncle Disco would have loved that one. <laughs> How cool is that? I just huck this ball in the back seat and it starts to light up. Cynthia, this thing is so cool. Hey, boss. You think of the disco ball? <laughs> he's, he's not I'm not sure about that thing, Dad. Because I've been skipping a few videos here and there, it's really allowed me to dive into the music side of my life, and I really missed it. I have a new DJ mix posted online. I'll link it in the description of this video if you guys want to go check it out. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow.